Hey guys, how's it crackalackin? We're doing it, we're making a video. What is this? A, a crossover episode? Please tell me somebody gets that reference. Okay, hi, my name is Bethan Dudley. I made a video from my 16 year old self to my 18 year old self. And then I made a video replying to that video from my 16 year old self. And then I made a video from my 18 year old self to my 21 year old self. I replied to that video. Uh, wait, was I tw uh, Oh yeah, and then I made a video from my 21 year old my 21 year old self to my 23 year old self. And I replied to that video. And then now I'm 24. I did not make a video to my 26 year old self like I said I was gonna do, but I'm gonna make a video to my 27 year old self because I need time to sort my life out. I also needed a year to figure out what I wanted, which is why it's taken so long to make this video. And I'm so glad I took that year because I have some updates. I recently started taking medication back in... <sighs> when did I start taking it? Beginning of December. Don't think I'm cured. Don't think you can cure ADHD. Is it helping? Yes. Is it perfect? No. <laughs> yeah, generally have a little bit more of a grip on my life, so positives. I went on a European tour. What? I went on a tour with Tessa Viola, which is one of my goals for 23. I did it at the age of 23. I learned so much about touring from that experience. Tessa was so, so helpful and gave me so much advice and was very patient with me. All of Tessa's audience was so nice and so polite and like cheered. <sighs> Like, honestly, it was so freaking lovely. I also booked tickets to go to Japan and South Korea, which was one of my goals for 23, and I did it. I booked the tickets for my 23rd year. We go in June, it's gonna be probably raining. We'll make it work. I'm sure it'll still be a super fun trip. Um, and yeah, I'm just so excited. We'll probably just stay to those cities because like we have such little time, and also I wanna go to Disney Sea. If we love it, we'll definitely be back, and we can go explore the other cities surrounding. But anyway, let us crack on with the real good stuff. Hello 27 year old Bethan. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Thank God, I think. I think I'm okay. Um, I have some goals and questions for you. I'm gonna start with an easy one. Go to Japan and South Korea. That's an easy one because it's already booked. How was it? Was it good? Have you gone back? The world is ending. I want you to become the master of thrifting. I want you to figure out how to do it properly because you have a certain aesthetic which is kind of like vintage meets space lady. In the US, it seems to be quite easy to do that. Um, in here, in the UK, I have struggled, but I feel like the way that the internet is going is going to be so much easier to get access to good sustainable clothing that you can afford um, and not have to just constantly go to these overpriced vintage shops that no one can afford or have, just have more money to spend on old vintage clothing. Hey, hey, that's a good one. Get rich. Hopefully in three years you are... I don't know, in a better financial situation where you can put down a deposit on a house that you like. You wanna get out, you wanna move out. And I've chosen not to move back to London because I don't wanna waste all my money on rent. So that's a decision that I've made. And so now I have to use that money and save up and yeah, that save up. <laughs> um, so I'm hoping by the time that you are 27, you have saved up enough to buy a house or you're getting there but equally you have another half at this point um so hopefully you're still good and you're on your way to getting the house if not get rich just do it you just need to do it that's the only way you can afford a house anymore so generally be in a more stable money sitch um you're doing okay you're doing fine yeah i wonder what you're doing now to earn money are you still doing like the social media thing? Are you like finally making some money for music? I cope. Have you got another job? Have you started something else freelancing that has gotten you money? Do another support tour outside the UK. I'm hoping to do a lot more uh, UK support shows, but yeah, I would love to do some others. Maybe in the US, maybe in Australia, just somewhere else. Have your own headline tour. When I say I'm working on it, I'm not really working on it. When I say I'm working on it, I'm making music to feel comfortable enough that enough people are gonna buy tickets 
that I can go on a headline tour. It's just me. I manage and overlook and do everything in relation to my music. So I have like no actual awareness on whether I can sell two, three, four hundred tickets per city. I'm just trying to navigate that. Um, but yeah, hopefully, even if that isn't right now, that will be in the next few years. Fingers crossed. Or the other way, people just stop listening. But I think I'm making bops. I think I'm doing it. So hopefully not. <laughs> generally, I want to be more happy with my aesthetic. When I say aesthetic, I mean generally the things that I'm putting out that are more visual. I feel like I'm more in touch with the things that I like and what, what about the things that I like why like why do i like them and just slowly analyzing why i like certain things to better create visuals and looks etc that go with my music and also um me like the things that i like to wear that make me feel happy and good about myself and yeah i don't know man i love clothes i love makeup i love being theatrical and you know just kind of expressing myself and i want to know like i want to better do that find more things i like it's fun finding things that you like i'm not joking i'm pretty sure i just filmed that video and i didn't even know whether i was in focus or not i want to learn how to drive and get a car and i don't care if i get like the crappiest car in the world i honestly i'm one of those people i just don't care but i want to learn to drive by the time i have kids and I'll probably start like thinking about having kids in my early 30s because you know there's a biological clock on my uterus at like a few years a few years in I want to drive I want to drive places I want to go on road trips we don't really do that because neither of us drive and so I'd like to do that so we can do road trips yeah learning Korean I started learning Korean last year. I am terrible and young as they are. Watch Bethan humiliate herself. Bearing in mind I just started last year, the end of last year. Like I started trying, trying like every day. So please don't, please don't be that guy in the comments that's like you're awful because I know and I just want to get better. Why it's one of my goals. I learned that if I like do every day, like an hour a day, which I definitely won't do, but like I could become fluent by the time I'm 30, which is like ages away, but equally like that's so cool. And anyway, I'll go into why, but let's just watch me like embarrass myself for a second. Here's some of the popular phrases I currently know in Korean. 안녕하세요. 감사합니다. 이거 뭐예요? 이거 한두 번이에요. Honestly, the stuff that I've been learning is mostly just stuff that's gonna help us on a trip. I think like 주학생 아니에요. I am not a student. We're staying near a university. I probably should have said that first. Which means the weather's been good today, I think. I don't have time. We don't have time. Kimchi pancake Which means can I have some kimchi pancake, please? <laughs> please give me the bucky. Hello. Which means like I'll enjoy the food. You say it like before you eat. I'm just trying to impress my Korean friends, okay? Anyway, let's get into why I am doing this um, and how I even got into learning a language in the first place. It all started back like years and years ago when I met a girl called Yu Zhang who was from South Korea. We became friends, she took me out to eat a bunch and I met Korean food. I met Korean food because this was, if anyone knows me, if you are my friend, you know this changed everything because I'm obsessed with Korean food. I'm probably terrible at cooking Korean food, but I really try my best. And um, that was kind of my first love of Korea, just being like, wow, you know, this food is so unique. It's all the things that I really love um, about food. And it's just awesome when you find that cuisine that you're like, this is ace. I vibe with this. And then I generally just started getting into Korean fashion more and then Korean skincare. And I started just realizing that like everything that South Korea was producing was just really cool. And then of course, then I was like, I want to go. I want to, you know, see you Zhang out there. Why not learn the language? And so that's kind of where I landed. I've always wanted to learn a language and I was terrible at learning French in school. I, I think especially with everything to do with my ADHD this year, I was like, why not set myself a challenge? Why not 
set myself the challenge of learning a language, but also I've set myself the task of learning a language that is very far away from English. So I throw myself in the deep end. Being English, it's so easy to come from this like privileged place where you just expect everybody to know your language. And I was just like, everybody out there is learning English. So my stupid ass is gonna learn Korean. It's sad if I don't try and learn another language. So I'm gonna do it. I finally got diagnosed with ADHD back in June and I've been taking medication. Um, it's a bit hit and miss, but one thing that I can't deny is that it has been working, but also I've only been on this medication for about six weeks now. Things are just easier to do now. I mean, I'm sat here making this YouTube video, which I haven't been able to do that in so long. I think it's actually also helping control my anxiety, which I assume was linked to ADHD in some way or another. But have you switched medications? Have you, are you still on medication? Are you on medication at all? Like, I'm curious because ADHD is weird. <laughs> and also, last but not least, how are you? How's your relationship? Are you in a relationship? I hope you're in a relationship. <laughs> I say that because I'm currently very, very happy in mine and that would be devastating. <laughs> how are you? How's your life? I hope you're good. Anything you want to add? So this is the end of the video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. I'm getting back into being in front of the camera and being like more on the internet um it was just hard for a while like when you're not like feeling right within yourself or like your mental health it's so hard to make and create content or be present and it's you know it's been an ongoing thing you know learning about myself more with bringing out more and more things with being creative with this ADHD medication I feel like I'm on my way to liking myself more and wanting to put myself out there more so yeah i'm i'm hoping that this is gonna be a good year i have a good feeling i love you guys so much bye